Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Schooling. So far we've learned everything about wireframes in this series of Design Schooling. A term called as prototype or prototyping is always mentioned when we study something about UI and UX. So this video is completely focused on what is a prototype. Basically, a prototype is a simulation or sample version of a final product which UX teams use for testing before launch. In simpler terms, a prototype is a draft version of a product that allows you to explore your ideas and show the intention behind a feature or the overall design concept to users before investing time and money into development. Prototyping is one of the most critical steps in the design process. Yet, prototypes still confuse some designers and project teams. A common misconception is that some designers refer to mock-ups as pr prototypes, which can confuse those who know otherwise. Prototypes are also not a series of sketches or a pixel-perfect pre-launch interface. In this video, we are going to define what prototyping is and explain the different types. So let's start by understanding the goals of a prototype. The goal of a prototype is to test and validate ideas before sharing them with stakeholders and eventually passing the final designs to engineering teams for development. Prototypes are essential for identifying and solving user pain points with participants during usability testing. Testing prototypes with end users enables UX teams to visualize and optimize the user experience during the design process. Engineering is expensive and making changes to a final product is often not as straightforward as teams anticipate. So finding and fixing errors during the design process is critical. Prototypes have, have four main qualities. They are as follows. First is representation, that is the prototype itself. Second is precision, the fidelity of the prototype, meaning its level of detail, low fidelity or high fidelity. Next one is interactivity, the functionality open to the user, for example, fully functional, partially functional or view only. And the last one is evolution, the life cycle of the prototype. Some are built quickly, tested, thrown away and then replaced with an improved version known as rapid prototyping. Others may be created and improved upon, ultimately evolving into the final product. We are going to explore prototypes in two categories. The most useful prototyping methodology are as follows. Paper prototyping and digital prototyping. First, let's study about paper prototyping. Paper prototyping works best during early design stages where UX teams collaborate to explore many concepts fast. Team members sketch ideas by hand using simple lines, shapes and text. The emphasis is on lots of ideas and speed and not aesthetics. Advantages of paper prototypes are that it is fast, inexpensive, team building that is it is a collaborative effort and documentation that is Team can keep it for quick reference for future iterations. Disadvantages of paper prototyping is that it is unrealistic and false positives. That is, it may not turn out to be as imagined. What seems good on paper may not work digitally well. Next is about digital prototyping. Digital prototyping is an exciting part of the design process. Prototypes start to resemble the final product, allowing teams to test and validate ideas. There are two types of digital prototypes. Low fidelity prototypes, that is, a user flow using wireframes. And the next one is high fidelity prototypes, a user flow using mockups. Advantages of digital prototypes are, real, are realistic interactions and flexibility. You can start with low fi prototypes, that become progressively more advanced as the design process moves forward. Digital Disadvantage of digital prototyping is the cost. It is much more expensive than paper prototyping. So that's all for this video. I hope it was quite helpful. And for more such videos, do follow and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.